Good afternoon to you all, and welcome to our 2022-2023 Tuba City Junior High School 8th grade promotion ceremony. You may be seated. I would like to acknowledge the presence of grandparents and parents. Our honorary guest speaker, Mr. Ryan Brown. Our Tuba City Unified School District number 15 School Board President, Joanne Tocini. School Board members, Ronald Begay, Rosaline Riggs, Lee Sinegini, and Harriet Sloan. Our Tuba City Junior High School Our TBC Unified School District number 15 Superintendent, Ms. Charlene Navajo. Our TBC Junior High School Principal, Dr. Melissa Billigodi. Our TBC Junior High School Dean of Students, Mrs. Constance Benali. Our TBC Junior High School sixth grade teachers. 7th grade teachers, and the great 8th grade teachers. Yat-e-she-e-ra-i-ta-so-i-ne-she-te-ne-za-ni-ne-she-le-ki-sa-in-lo-ka-de-ne-e-ba-she-she-ki-ya-ani-e-ba-she-che-na-ka-de-ne-
And now, please join Ms. Jason Tossel in the singing of her national anthem. Thank you, Ms. Jason and Tulsa. You may now be seated.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, parents, Tupacy Junior High School teachers and students, please help me in welcoming onto the stage our Ms. Bamana Gahoyama, who will be speaking the welcoming address. Good afternoon. Thank you, Bali, for that introduction. No Bamana Young Happy Matua, no Ba Eswangwa, no Mankapi Epkita. Itanga Mashal Natsumya Yanpahan Matsuwa, Itana Daniel Galhyama Yanpahan Matsuwa. I would like to acknowledge the presence of our grandparents and parents, our Tuba City Unified School District Number 15, School Board President Joanne Todachitni, School Board Members Ronald Bigay, Rosalind Riggs, Lee Sinajini, and Harriet Sloan, and our Tuba City Junior High School parents and family. On behalf of my classmates, it is my honor to thank all of you for joining us today. Your presence with us today means the world, and thank you for inspiring us and pushing us across the finish line. Finally, I would like to personally thank each one of my fellow classmates. You are my support system, my home away from home, and I cannot imagine a middle school experience with another group of individuals. Today marks not just the end, but the beginning of an amazing chapter that I cannot wait to share with you. Asquilly. Thank you, Ms. Bamana. Can you please give her another round of applause? Now, ladies and gentlemen, parents, Tupacy Junior High School teachers and students, please help me welcome you onto the stage our Miss Yvette, our Miss Rainy Honani who will be introducing our guest speaker, Mr. Ryan Brown. Thank you, Mr. Tosso, for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Tuba City Junior High teachers and students, please help me in welcoming onto the stage the Tuba City Unified School District alumni and today's guest speaker, Mr. Ryan Brown. Uh, greetings everybody, welcome. I am truly honored to be here with you today. Thank you for inviting me to be a part of your special day. Uh, congratulations graduates. Uh, you should be extremely proud of yourself today. You just accomplished something truly remarkable. If you sit back and think about this moment, relish it. Think about it, soak it all in. You're here with your friends, you're here with your families, you're here with your classmates, siblings, grandmas, grandpas. You now this is a truly remarkable moment for you guys in your young journey. So think of this milestone as there's many more to come. Believe it or not, I walked across the same stage. I gave the same speech 21, year, 21 years ago here in Tuba City, Arizona. Uh, the president before me mentioned I'm a proud Tuba City alumni. And during my speech, I talked a lot about optimism. I talked a lot about hope. I talked a lot about excitement. And during those emotions that we were having, as students at the time, we were on a roller coaster where there was a lot of excitement, but also a lot of uncertainty. Part of me was thrilled. Part of me was nervous. Part of me was overwhelmed. I was thankful for moving into high school, moving forward into high school. But I was also a little scared, for it was a new chapter in my life. And you may be sitting there with those same emotions, the same thought processes of being overwhelmed, scared, you know, but also optimistic as well.
but I'm here to tell you, it's all okay. It's taken no matter what I've learned in the last 21 years. I'm hoping that these life lessons, these life lessons you use as you know, you write your journey, your next chapters, and don't ever forget this moment as this is a chapter in your own story. You're the author of the greatest story you can write. All of you are the author, the creator. You hold that pin. You have endless opportunities to go out there and tackle the world, tackle high school, and be fearless in it. Here are my life lessons that I wanna share with you today. Lesson number one, find your purpose. There are two most important days in your life, the day you're born and the day you find out why. How do you find your purpose? What is purpose? Well, you're definitely gonna go out there and explore and try a million different things. And you're gonna get into a lot of things as well. You know, high school is about exploring, trying new things, being in a new environment. And through these, you know, trials and errors, you're gonna find out what you love. You're gonna find out what you're really good at as well. And these ideas, these motions that you have are gonna help you develop your purpose. Give you inspiration to get up every single day. I know that this is something tough to understand now, but in the next few months, the next few years, go out there and do as much as you can, explore. The high school's big, whether it's here, whether it's the school next door at Gray Hills or you're going in a different direction. Be open-minded. And you know, I remember as a kid, I was told that you could be anything you want. I can be anything I wanted to be. Well, that's not true. You can be anything you want. I'm sorry, excuse me. I was told that I could be anything I wanted to be. You can be anything you want to be if it's anything you deserve to be. You see, wanting is simply not enough. Everybody wants something, but it's up to you to go out there and get it. And how do you go out there and get it? Well, you got to work hard. You got to work smart. And those are two things that you gotta do consistently, day in, day out. No matter if you're having a good day, bad day, you gotta work hard, you gotta work smart, and do it consistently. If you give, consistency, if you give it consistently, the, your best effort every single time, and have a positive mindset, you're gonna find that happiness, you're gonna find that fulfillment, you're gonna find that significance but please know that those things I just listed off, they're not gonna be handed to you. You gotta go out there and earn it. Lesson number two, learning never stops. As proud as you feel right now, sitting here in your promotion, getting promoted onto high school, just know that the learning is just beginning. You're now sitting here scratching the surface of all the opportunities out there. There's an opportunity to learn something every single day. Strive for that growth development. Look for improvement every single day. As, as simple as that sounds, you know, that's the key to success. You know, growth, improvement, self-improvement, you know, make learning a daily habit. Why? Because as you get older, as you get wiser, you know, you just start to understand. You start to put those pieces together. And it's, you're always gonna be a work in progress, no matter how old you get. 
you know, just like some of the things that we have here that you see, you know, these potholes that are always in town, whether you whether you're gonna be driving through town, it's always you're always gonna be under construction. How many of you heard is knowledge is power? Anybody here knowledge is power? Well, it isn't. We've been told a lie. Knowledge is not power. In fact, knowledge, is, knowledge that is unapplied is worthless. What I mean by that is we got to apply the knowledge we gain in everyday life. So in order for you to get your knowledge to be powerful, you got to apply it. You know, you sit here obtaining information, you're learning something new every single day, go out there and apply it. Apply what you learn, just don't withhold that information in you. You know, there's three types of people in this world. There's individuals that make things happen, there's individuals out there that watch things happen, and there's individuals just don't know what's going on. And I encourage you, I empower you to be within that first group. Make things happen. Be a go-getter. Be the first one asking questions with your teachers, with your coaches, with you know everybody that you're gonna see at the next step. Again, don't wait for someone to tell you what to do. You know, develop that independence that's gonna build those habits of consistently wanting to learn more and putting them into action. Again, actions speak louder than words. Lesson number three, invest in your time. We talk a lot about time management. We talk a lot about why time is important. You may re not realize this now, like I didn't realize 21 years arrived at this promotion had some major flashbacks I saw a lot of my teachers I saw a lot of people that I've worked with over the years and it made me realize that how fast time has flown by in the last 21 years you know I still have some of the same teachers some of the same people that you know watch me grow up help me develop and you know here's some helpful ways for you to really invest in your time Number one, set goals. That's the number one. If you want to achieve success is setting goals. Whether you write it down, put it into your phone, because tomorrow is not guaranteed. You know, goals give you a sense of direction, help you stay motivated, help you, help you stay accountable to yourself as well. You know, goals do that. You know, goals help you create a plan. Because if you don't have a plan, you're gonna be in this endless cycle of, what do I gotta do? How am I gonna do it? And trust me, create a plan, have goals. We do that every single day with some of the people that we work with. Whether it's the high level, whether it's high school, youth athletes, you know, we want them to create a plan so that they can attack that and own that plan. You must develop goals, and again, be proactive in that. Just don't set goals and write it down, be proactive. Do something every single day that's gonna help you achieve that goal. Whether that's, you know, whether you wanna be an A plus student, or you wanna be in National Honor Society, you wanna be in top 5% of your graduating class, or you wanna be an athlete, you wanna be a really good athlete, have a plan, and most importantly, a good person be a certified good person be the best brother sister you know son daughter you could possibly be be the best student you can be and number two don't waste time using your time wisely like I said tomorrow is not guaranteed you know we don't live in the past we live in the present and we must remain in the present our attention in the present moment shows us what we value and what we care about. You know, our attention dic dictate, dictates that. So 
you need to invest your time wisely. And how do you do that? Be where your feet are. Where your feet are, too. So you gotta be present in the moment. Soak that in. Because again, as you go into that next level of high school, you gotta be present in everything. And give everyone and everything your undivided attention. And thank you guys for listening to me today. But when you're in class, again, practice. Everything should be focused on what the speaker's saying. We say that to our, we say that to a lot of our people we work with as well. Undivided attention. That shows that they're locked in, ready to go. They're getting that information. And a key point. Again, remember this key point. You need to make it happen, make it a habit to pour all your attention into the only thing, two things that matter in this world. They're a hundred percent of what you control. And it's a hundred percent daily. The effort in your attitude. How much time you put into your effort and how much you put into your attitude as well. Two big things, effort and attitude. Now, before I leave today, I wanna to summarize everything you need to know in three simple words. Yes, three simple words that are gonna help mold you as you make your next steps into high school. And forward, to make you feel happy, to make you fulfill, fulfill, fulfilled and significant as well. Make good choices. Those are the three words, make good choices. That's it. You don't need to make life any harder than it has to be. You don't have to make any situations more difficult than it has to be. Make good choices. If you make good choices, you make good decisions, life's gonna be good. If you make great decisions, you're gonna live a great life. It's simple as that. But again, there's a lot of other factors that play into that. But stay true to that. Make good choices. And you must realize the decisions you make today determine who you'll be tomorrow. Don't forget, happiness, fulfillment, success doesn't happen by chance. They happen by choice. So choose them by making great decisions. You know, I'm proud to be here today. I'm proud to speak in front of you guys. You know, I'm a proud Chuba City alum. I grew up through the public school system. I have a lot of friends. I have a lot of, that are parents now. I have a lot of teachers that are my mentors. And I'm proud. And I want you guys to be proud as well. You know, maybe 20, 21 years from now, you guys might be standing up here. You know, motivate, inspire. And... You know, I wish you guys all the best and I want to thank you guys for investing some time with me in today and listening to what I have to share. But thank you guys. I wish you guys all the best. Good luck. Thank you, Mr. Ryan Brown. Can you please give them another round of applause? Now, ladies and gentlemen, parents, Tuba State Junior High School teachers and students, please help me in welcoming onto the stage our Miss Yvette Nakai Red Bear, who will be introducing our great leader, Dr. Melissa Billigood, our Tuba State Junior High School principal. Good afternoon. Thank you, Bradley, for that introduction. Yad Eshik E Doshi Dine Shae Vet Naka Red Bear Yunisha Glasha Nishlin Lakota Su Bushish Team. I wholeheartedly accept this honor on behalf of my fellow classmates and family. Starting from the, from the beginning at Tupac City Primary School, I recall adjusting to a whole new environment filled, filled with a desire to be the line leader, engaging in learning centers, singing, coloring, counting and making new friends. As a part of my primary use of being a little warrior, I'd like to thank Miss Kaylee Nakai Dene, 
for being my most inspiring teacher. Then the, trans then the transition to Tupa City, Tupa City Elementary School happened so very quickly. It became a solid routine of weekly math and ELA formatives, reading, creating science fair projects for the Navajo Nation, and participating in basketball, taking an active interest in, personal, in my personal pa passion of building model ship and aircraft. In elementary school, my favorite teacher is named Miss Aronalith Jim. She sparked my love and interest for ELA. I can recall my first night before Tuba City Junior High School as a sixth grader. It wasn't what I had expected. Distance learning was a complicated task for the teachers and my fellow classmates. Myself, for the most part, I'd like to thank for helping for I'd like to thank my mom for helping me stay on track with signing into my Zoom lectures and supporting me in school and athletics. As time passed on and society grew more knowledgeable about COVID-19, students were allowed to attend school in person. As an athlete, I engaged in football, basketball, and baseball. Then my interest in science grew. All thanks to my favorite teacher, Tupac State Junior High School teacher, Miss Vivian Roberts. I would like to thank Miss Roberts for being optimistic, caring, and expecting greatness of me. Uh, yeah, Ms. Roberts. Now, to the promoting class of 2023, let's close this chapter of our middle school academic careers and say thank you to our parents. Promotees, could you look for your parents in the crowd and wave to them and say thank you? And now, in closing, class of 2023, my message to you is to have courage and faith in your true self. Never forget where you came from. Always be grateful for the efforts of your teachers and your family. Always be kind and hold the beliefs and take pride that you are a brave who's ready to conquer high school. Thank you for your time and attention. I get ahead. And now I will introduce Mr. Mariah Billigodi, who will be speaking his valedictorian speech. Good afternoon, students, families, and staff. My name is Mariah Billigudi, and I am the Tuba City Junior High School Valedictorian Promoting Class of 2023. Hello, I'm Mariah. Today is a great day to celebrate and to be grateful for many things. Teachers who have taught us, coaches who have guided us, and family who have supported us throughout junior high. I am thankful for all teachers who have offered words of encouragement, also for the guidance from coaches that have helped me to get through school and sports. I appreciate the advice from mentors, coaches, and family that, that have helped me grow and become a better student athlete. I am thankful for the many adults that have made a commitment to, our, to better our lives as students so that our junior high experiences will prepare us for high school. Promotion is a time to celebrate our accomplishments, reflect on our journey thus far, and set our sights in the future. The proudest memory I have is playing sports alongside my friends. Something I will cherish is both the boys and girls basketball teams winning the NEIC championship this year. And also, the long-standing tradition of playing Tuba City Boarding School in football for the Bell.
We learn through sports that you cannot win all the time. Yet these moments were great learning experiences, help build character, and the desire to improve. I am sure each, each of you have your favorite memories of eighth grade and Tuba City Junior High. For some of us, eighth grade was tough, but we made it through. We should be proud of ourselves for everything we've overcome. It really does seem like yesterday when you were starting eighth grade. Time really does fly when you're having fun, or in eighth grade's case, when you're trying to survive eighth grade. But the time has arrived to say goodbye to Tuba City Junior High and to, stu and to start a new chapter in our lives. I am thankful for my junior high years because I have gained friendships, memories, and many athletic experiences. I encourage each one of you to follow your passions and never give up on yourselves. Believe in yourself and always stay positive. And finally, don't forget to have fun. Life is too short to not enjoy every moment. As the Two Visiting High School motto states, once a warrior, always a warrior. But never forget, you were a brave first. Thank you. By virtue of the authority vested by law in the governing board of the Tuba City Unified School District Number 15, the office of the superintendent, the principal, and the recommendation of the Tuba City Junior High School, I do hereby confer that the Tuba City Junior High School 8th grade class of 2023, who having satisfactorily completed the studies prescribed by the State Board of Education and Governing Board of the Tuba City Unified School District Number 15, the Tuba City Junior High School Diploma, with all the rights, privileges, and honors thereunto appertaining given at the Tuba City High School Pavilion this 19th day of May 2023 to the governing board of the Tuba City Unified School District number 15. It is my honor and privilege to present to you the Tuba City Junior High School graduating class of 2023. Thank you, Dr. Belagoti. On behalf of the Tuba City Unified School District Number 15 Governing Board, it is my honor and privilege to accept the graduating class of 2023. Congratulations, students and families. Junior High School Promoting Class 2023, Bradley Consult. <laughs> Levi Anderson de Colomon.
Pamana Kelhuyuma. Rady Unani. Red Nakai Red Bear. Mariah Delagodi. Jalen Acosley. Kaden Atson. Lamar Arizona Shinel Bahi Nathan Billy Braden Bazardi Kayleen Black Hair. Ariana Bracker. Takayla Bright. Keisha Brown. Maya Buck Kennedy Chi Tierra Chi Latrell Chief Adam Claw Willow Claw Darrell Crump Aiden Hurley Cole Dash Sania Duncan Trey Destini Austin Destini Donna Deswood Kyrie Dotson Tyler Dotson Sir Ryan at City Riley Fowler Brianna Goldtooth Elisha Goldtooth Kyler Goodman Josiah Grab Shelby Haskey Lakin Hatafli
Aiden Holmes. Bakap Hongnam Honani. Destiny Humini Tewa. Donovan Hayden. Jaden Jackson. Paige James. Jesse Jensen. Alex Hemenez. Jasmine June. Madison Quito. Welpa Kenton. Mikhail Lee. Shariah Lee. Shariah Melbourne. Don Maloney, Andrea Manuelito, Aiden Marquez, Titan Martinez. Quentin McCabe. <laughs> Skyly Nez. Harrison Nez. <laughs> Dallas Nepsosi. Kendrick Peterson Millard Pula Jr. Alan Seganitso Trent Seganitso Toreto Seaton. Conan Sebastian. Loya Sicori. Gilbert Sellers. Carlos Shortman. Draven Silas. Javier Cisco. Berkeley Slim. Alia Smart. Jocelyn Smith. Ivan Sambrero. Antoine Spencer. Carolyn Spotted Bear. Kyla Stanley.
Good afternoon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, parents, TBC Junior High School teachers and students, please help me welcome onto the stage Mr. Mariah Billigodi, who will be speaking our closing remarks. Thank you, Bradley, for that introduction. Welcome and thank you for your support. And it is an honor to be your person of closing this great celebration today. All throughout middle school, we took chances and experienced changes. Chances personally of setting higher goals and standards in life. Chances academically with grades and extracurriculars and chances socially of branching out and creating new friendships or stronger bonds. We've all experienced new atmospheres and we've all experienced true achievement. But one thing is certain, we would not be where we are today without help and support along the way. The vast amount of new knowledge that we hold today is credit that we owe to all our teachers who taught us curriculum inside the classroom and life lessons out of it. Thank you to all of our teachers we had through our middle school years, giving us students a chance to make a difference in the school and community and leave our imprint on the world. We would also like to express our gratitude towards our parents.
to the vast expanse of desert, neath the wide Arizona sky, is a place we will remember. Tuba City Junior High. Sing her praise and join the rays. Her banner far and wide. Memories fond will stay forever. Friendships made will never die. Hail to thee, our alma mater. Tuba City Junior High. Congratulations to you, the class of 2023.